Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor. We are live, and our main story today is Bob Saget and the mysterious new details around his death. Now, yes, the title seems a little bit out there. That's Steph's fault, although I, I approved it, so it's both of our faults. Uh, look, <laughs> I want to put this right out the gate at the beginning of this video. There are people now who are suspecting, could there have been more behind this death? Could he have been killed? That's now the question that's been asked out there. So it's a fair question to ask. These new details present a kind of a crazy new update to this case. I think it has shocked a lot of people. Now, while it could also be someone did something bad, it could also be other things too. So there are multiple options of what's going on here. I think we will all agree, though, something's fishy here. Something's off, and they don't want us to know why. And I want to discuss with you guys, like, is the family right in this? I mean, ultimately, the family should always get to say, so I, they probably are. At the same time, why would they want to do this? Because this is only going to make more videos like this happen, uh, where people are wondering, well, what happened? Is there a crime? Was there a mystery? Who did it? It's going to cause more speculation based on the fact that Bob Saget's widow and daughters are suing officials to block the release of death investigation records. Now, this is weird, Steph. And I even asked Mr. Melcher, our attorney uh, advisor, who helps so much, and I'm so grateful for his time. Uh, but yeah, even he was just like, this is odd. Um, the family has asked for an order sealing the coroner's records. You can die from falling to the ground from a standing position or while walking. But these reports say that there's an unexpected level of trauma. Sealing the records won't stop people from questioning what happened and could make it sound more suspicious. I'm surprised the police or coroner aren't taking a second look rather than saying case closed. So even our own attorney advisor, Mr. Melcher, is like, yeah, something's fishy. So, Steph, I want to go through these updates with you guys. And I want to hear your thoughts. What do you think's going on here? Is this a nothing burger? Are we overreacting? Or do you see enough red flags here to go, something's amiss. We should maybe ask some more questions or someone should. Uh, so let's break this down. All right. So I guess the first where we should start is that uh, the injury that Bob sustained, and uh, uh, warning in advance, we're getting into a little bit more details. This is awful to talk about but to get to the bottom of this we have to sort of deal with what the coroner has come forward and said based off of the autopsy report the injury was not a bump on the head as we were all told when we reported it there was this report and we talked about it here live right Steph a bump on yeah. the head and we talked about what to do to, to protect yourself if that happens and you can bunk it and then suddenly you don't realize and what you're supposed to do to, to be careful but that's what they sort of said they said he, he was peaceful as he went to bed Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Well, now we're finding out based on what the the report says, it was a lot more severe, way more severe. It was like a baseball bat to the head, or falling from twenty or thirty feet, based on the injuries that you know people are, are reading. The re report from the actor Bob Saget has raised questions uh, about the sixty-five year old's death. Uh, he suffered a significant blow to the head that fractured his skull and caused bleeding across his brain, according to the autopsy report revealed Friday. Although initial reports seemed to indicate he had simply bumped his head. Uh, last week, his family released a statement saying he died from a, a brain bleed after hitting his head. They indicated he went to sleep without knowing the severity of his injury, and he was found dead by hotel staff at the Ritz-Carlton Orlando around 4 p.m. Medical experts are now saying that Saget's injuries were much more serious than that. This is significant trauma, Dr. Gavin Britz, chairman of neuros nurse neurosurgery at Houston Methodist, uh, told New York Times. This is something I find with someone with a baseball bat to the head or has fallen 20 to 30 feet feet. Experts added that Saget was, was likely confused and possibly unconscious from the injury. I doubt he was lucid. Dr. Jeffrey Bazaron, an emergency physician and a concussion expert at the University of Rochester Medical Center said, and doubt he thought, I'm just going to sleep this off. And these are big experts. These are real, these aren't just, you know, Dr. Phil talking, right? These are legitimate, you know, medical doctors at big universities coming forward. Dr. Bazarian also said that depending where Saget specifically hit his head, that fracture could easily spread to other parts of his skull. It's like an egg cracking. Ugh. You hit in one spot and it can crack from back to front. Uh, Byron, the medical examiner's chief political correspondent, has questioned the initial investigation of Saget's death following the release of the report. This is really odd, York tweeted on February 11th makes you wonder about the thoroughness of the original investigation of the scene. Megan Rainey, MD, uh, an emergency physician at Brown, also weighed in on Twitter 
She acknowledged that the severity of the incident had to occur to match the autopsy results, although she clarified that it doesn't necessarily mean he was the victim of intentional trauma to the head. Hi, in case you missed it, this is not a slip and fall. This is, a, this is not a minor concussion. This is major head trauma, she said after reading the, uh, the top. P.S. This doesn't mean it was intentional trauma either, but this is more than just I whacked my head on the kitchen cabinet. There was no alcohol or illegal drugs in Saget's system at the time of his death, according to the report, although there was uh, clonexapam, a commonly known as uh, clonopin, a benazen, I can't say all that. It's a, uh, for panic Benzo attacks. Benzodiazepine. Thank you. Uh, test results <laughs> also showed uh, trazodine and antidepressants. So he had some meds, uh, but nothing that would have caused this. The autopsy did not indicate that these drugs would have contributed to his injuries or death. Medical experts, however, added they could make a person sleepy uh, and be in a factor in a fall. Uh, so there you go. And so uh, here's so we have more here. And I think this is the I was going to say, let's watch this. Dr. Sanjay Gupta well, on CNN offered his as well. Star Bob Saget's autopsy has been released by the medical examiner in Orange County, Florida. And Dr. Sanjay Gupta. Uh, Sanjay, I think this was surprising to a lot of people. What does this autopsy report reveal? I think what it reveals more than anything else is that this was not a sort of simple bump on the head. I think a couple of days ago. Um, what we had heard was that uh, he, uh, Mr. Saget may have bumped his head sort of as he was getting into bed at his hotel room, and that subsequently caused, you know, a, a, a bleeding on his brain. But when you read this autopsy report, that still may be the case, but it was a very significant blow to the head. I can show you, first of all, we put this graphic together just to give you an idea in yellow of all the various bones on his skull that were fractured. That's, it takes a lot of force to do that, and let me show you on the skull model if I can as well. Um, basically, you know, there was fractures on the back of his head over here and also abrasion over here. So clearly there was some sort of, you know, uh, impact over here. That fracture extended into the right temporal bone over here. So that was a hard blow to just do that. But what was also noted on the autopsy report was that there were skull fractures in the front of his skull over here as well, just above his eyes. So in order to, to do that, I mean, when I first saw this, if I knew nothing else, about what had happened, uh, you would think that maybe this was someone who had fallen down the stairs and had several impacts to the head or been unrestrained in a car accident. I mean, it was that degree of, of force. In neurosurgery, you're often looking at the energy that's actually transferred to the skull and the brain, as well as the mechanism. And, you know, whatever happened here, we may never know the exact, like how he fell or what happened, but it was a significant blow uh, that caused that. And likely the bleeding on top of the brain, as you see there in this image, is likely causing pressure on the brain and subsequently, sadly, led to him becoming unconscious and then dying. So, yeah, look, there's a lot there that's uh, troublesome as we as we threw and, and now, of course, this is causing the theory, hence the title. But I got to be honest, it's it's now like, well, how else do you do that now? Of course, it could have been accidental. He could have still fought. But again, it's not a bonk on the head where you fell down from standing. You'd have to really substantially you know bonk your head now he could have done it himself maybe he fell in the bathtub but still why would he have gone to bed normally it does feel like there's something off here and then why this case gets even weirder is given all this new information uh this came out last night uh bob saget's family is now suing to block the release of the investigation records uh, why what what I mean, look, I'm all for the privacy, but now we know there's more to it. You'd think they'd want to pursue this. Maybe they don't. Maybe they're they know. Maybe there was more to the story that they were hoping wouldn't come out. They want to keep it a family matter. I can understand, but at the same time, like what happened? Uh, this is this is strange. This is strange, Steph. I mean, it's hard to guess what happened. Was he murdered? Could he have hurt himself to that degree? Un, un it's unclear, but. Do you sense that something is off here? Totally. I really, really do. Uh, it's extremely, extremely rare uh, for a cause of death, uh, let's say in the UK at the very least, um, to, to not be of public record. Extremely, extremely rare. It's got to be something really extreme, really out there, really unique set of circumstances for a cause of death not to be... Uh, in the public record at, at the registrar. I can only assume that that would be a similar case in America uh, with US law. And, and making that assumption, this is strange. 
if you are blocking the release of the death investigation records, i.e. blocking the release ultimately of the actual cause of death, like the details of it, then to me it's like, well, what do you not want the public to see? You're, you're automatically wanting to hide something. That's why you're blocking it from the public view, right? So what is it? Well, at the end of the day, if you're trying to hide someone's cause of death, then it's, it's human nature. It's kind of like um, reasonable then to turn around and say, well, hang on a minute. Was it just a fall or was it something more? Well, if you're blocking it and everything's coming out here about the, the actual severity of the injury and the impact and the blow to the head and all the, the skull fragments and the fractures and all that lot, well, hang on a minute. It's now reasonable to now believe and assume, was there something more to Bob Saget's death? And that then leads you to think quite reasonably and naturally, well, hang on a minute, did he actually die by accident? Did he die by natural causes? Or was there foul play? As in, was he killed or was it manslaughter? So I accidentally like killing him. Like they didn't mean to, but you know, they did kind of thing. Again, all this, my opinion, conspiracy theory, whatever, pure speculation, right? Now, you can take out natural causes straight off because there's physical damage to the skull that caused the death that, you know, you know, led to his death in the first place. So natural causes is out. The fall situation, yeah, maybe, but all the uh, medical experts out there are saying, look, you know, the kind of trauma that, you know, w w the skull suffered as a result is inconsistent of a fall. Okay, so then in my mind, in process of elimination, then you're only left with two things. Foul play, was he murdered or was it accidental uh, and it was manslaughter? That's kind of like where my mind's going. The only thing then I would ask in respect of that is why would anyone want to do any harm to Bob Sadger in the first place? Now, I said this to Andy earlier on. I only know Bob Sadger because of Full House. However, never actually wa watched an episode of Full House. Wasn't that big over here in UK, but I know of him, right? Um, so it's really a case of, you know, Andy, the chat, educate me on this. If this was potentially foul play, whether he was killed or it was manslaughter, why would anyone want to do harm to Bob Sadget in the first place. Because all I hear, especially, you know, when the news broke that he, like, suddenly passed away, was he's such a good bloke, so helpful, would do anything for anyone, so supportive, Every, everyone in industry, up-and-comers were supportive of them as well, would give him a helping hand. He seemed to be such a lovely bloke. But quite clearly, if there was foul play... Well, why, why, why would anyone want to do harm to Bob Saget in the first place? Um, let's see. Um, looking at the chat, um, Luna Mia says, I believe foul play to an extent. So some are believing it. But we Andy, put a, we what, put a what, poll, what do you think? We put the poll and uh, yeah, 70% believe something shady. The family knows. That's where I'm at. 16% though are going to say, yeah, he was murdered. 14% saying uh, nothing shady. It was clearly just an accident. Um, but yeah, I'm in that something shady front. I, I don't, I mean, it's possible. Like, honestly, how do you sustain that kind of injury that they're saying here? That all these doctors, including Sanjay Gupta, say what you want, but I mean, like, you know, he's about what just above the, his eyes going through all it, looking at the skull. And I, there's too many experts here telling me this is a massive injury, right? Car accident, they're calling it things. So, how do you do that to yourself accidentally in your hotel room before bed? And then they said, you know, he was all he was he went to fall asleep. Like, I don't believe you hit your head against the bathtub or whatever you'd need to do to cause that severe a series of a problem. And then calmly go put yourself to bed as if there's no bleeding or issues that would have 
clearly sent him elsewhere. You know what I mean? So I do have to be honest. Like, my head goes spiraling, as Christopher said. I think, especially hearing, well, now they're trying to hide the results and everything else. Like, there's a cover up here of, like, well, what happened? What's going on? Now, could there have been something more shady or, you know, egregious that he was doing that they don't want to get out to, to people? Maybe. Out of respect of him, and in which case, none of my business, really. It's really what, as long as the family gets what they need. But uh, I'm torn on this one. I, I'm, I'm like, is it our business? Should we know how he died, or does the family ultimately get that right? Is really where I'm also stuck. What do you think on that stuff? Should and and chat. Does it matter what we know on this instance? He's no longer with us. It's really the family that matters. They're the ones who are going to be grieving, obviously, and trying to move on. I, I, Part of me thinks whatever if they don't want to if they don't want to pursue this further they could but at the same time shouldn't the medical like shouldn't the police be going back to be like all right let's look at this again what did we miss um so it's rubbed me the wrong way but yeah what is this is this an issue for us should we care stuff yes because if a crime has been committed then the whole you know, the whole basis of society in terms of, you know, how it's regulated in the right way so that we don't destroy ourselves is the legal law, right? It's the letter to law. Um, and so if a crime has been committed against Bob Sadget, then it is within the public interest for it to be investigated and the perpetrator to be brought up in court and feel the full force of the law. Um, but if not, and there is no foul play, and they just, you know, still don't want the public to know how he passed away, all right, fair enough. But the probability of that, in my opinion, is very low. You only want to block something from go from not being in public view because you want to hide something that the you don't want the public to know. And usually, if you want to hide something that the public don't want to know, it's usually something that you're hiding that's bad, <laughs> that's not good, right? In terms of just thinking about it, in my mind, logically. So for me, again, if there was a crime committed, it is with in the public's interest to know and so that the full letter of the law that the public live by and abide to for its existence should be implemented and it should be dealt with and that's it as far as i'm concerned yeah well there's that opinion and uh i see a lot of people in the chat uh agreeing with you and uh i see some saying it's really up to the family what they want but you're right if a crime is committed well we, we should make sure we know what's happening and could the family be involved in said crime right that's why ultimately it's important we go through and follow these things up so uh yeah so the family filed a lawsuit against orange county district a little over a month after the community's death and the court documents obtained uh the, all the the whole family I'd want to stop any further release of documents related to the star's death. A lawsuit filed, the Saget seeks to stop the release of further details at the Florida Hotel and keep the investigation confidential as it would cause irreparable harm in the form of extreme mental pain, anguish, and emotional distress. In addition to requesting injunction to stop the release of reports, audio and video recordings, as well as photographs, the late star's widow and his daughters want the information and materials gathered about Saget's passing to be exempt from public records requests. His family claims in the suit that no legitimate public interest will be served by the release of dissemination of the records to the public. Well, I mean, his body and stuff, of course, that should always be protected. But the, this now cause of death, something's up. I don't know. Of course, it does. It's, this isn't just that he passed peacefully. It's none of our business. Uh, it seems like the medical examiners didn't do a good job. Saget's relatives have asked for a temporary injunction while the court rules on whether to permanently block the release of information about his death. Uh, they did not immediately comment to, uh, to people. Uh, the Saget family confirmed that the former America's son of us died of head trauma. He was found dead uh, on January 9th. Authorities have determined that Bob passed from head trauma. They have included that he accidentally hit the back of his head on something, thought nothing of it, and went to sleep. So this is not true. Mm. Now that we have the final conclusions from the authorities, we felt it was proper to let the, hear the fans hear those conclusions directly from us. As we continue to mourn together, we ask everyone to remember and love the laughter of Bob. Um, uh, yeah, I, I don't know, man. 
I mean, Say the fact of the matter is, they released a cause of death when he initially passed away that's wrong. That's incorrect, based on the information that's now coming out from medical experts. So you have to ask why, in that respect then, allegedly, did they mislead the public in the first place uh, and, and try and make out, allegedly, that his cause of death was less severe than it actually was. Yeah, because if you read here, the, the autopsy findings indicated an unwitnessed fall backwards. So they're saying it was a backwards fall because it was, I guess, that's where it hit him in the back. Resulted mm. in blunt force trauma, head trauma, complete with a list of extensive skull fractures, brain injuries, posture, uh, posture scalp abrasions. So there was cuts, sublim sublim hemorrhage. Uh, Subgaleal hemorrhage. Thank you. Discoloration in the upper and lower eyelids due to skull fracture, subgaleal hematoma. Um, sub, uh, yeah, hemorrhage, uh, breathing. So, I mean, I understand the stuff. Uh, Subarachnoid. All that stuff that's happening inside. Okay, you can't really know that as it's as it's building, right? But some of these abrasions and the, the amount of s fractures seems like this was not a. Oh, ah, oh, God, ow! I'm, well, let me go to sleep. Um. So I, I don't know. There's something. Uh, maybe maybe it was a more extreme way he went out, and they just don't want that graphic details graphic details out and they don't want people to remember them that way in which case none of my business and let it go but uh frustrating that the uh authorities couldn't have at least been a little bit more honest about well he just he hit his head and thought nothing of it and went to sleep uh i, I don't know man I, this is this something something's off now do i think he's murdered personally i don't see any evidence of that but is it impossible at this point given how sus everything's looking uh, anything's possible at this point. Uh, so there you go. Uh, not really as clickbait as they thought, Steph, right? It's not as clickbait as they thought now that we've gone through you this. See? Be honest, chat. You you, you initially thought when I when I uh, put to you that title, you were like, Steph, tut, tut, tut. But I explained it and you're like, okay, yeah, not bad, not bad. You see, method to madness me. Yeah, for, for, it, it wasn't as bad as you thought. It is a s super sad story, though, and I do feel for Bob. I hate all there's people still trying to, like, I don't know, say say he was a bad guy doing things. I, I've seen no evidence of that. Uh, and uh, every, I've, I've known a lot of people who knew him, and they all were very emotional about it because he was a guy who helped others tremendously. He was there for you, people who are suffering from depression, etc. Yes, he had a very twisted sense of humor and that didn't always jive with everybody. Uh, but I, I, there's no examples or proof that he ever crossed any lines to actually do that sort of thing in real life. If anything, I've heard everything he did was out of his own kindness, helping everybody for his own charities and other charities. Uh, he truly was a good, kind-hearted man, and so a super sad loss still this day, and just sad to hear that there's more potentially behind this that we're never going to know. Uh, regardless... I respect the family. I don't want to get too in, in details on this, but if any new updates do arise that we feel are needed to, to present to you guys, we will. Uh, in the interim, though, continue to, to give your respect and uh, mourn the loss of Bob Saget, uh, a, a comedic legend, good guy, and uh, super sad to lose him as early as we did. Uh, and I send all my uh, love and positivity to his, his family. Uh, but again, what do you guys think? I want to hear your theories down below in the comments. If you're watching live, keep them coming in the live feed. Make sure you go subscribe to Steph the Alter Nerd, uh, as well as subscribe here for more updates on topics such as this. Hit the bell for alerts so you actually get notified. Smash the like button and leave a comment on your theories down below. What do you think? Or just was it clickbait? Uh, uh, you can tell us. It's it's all engagement. It all helps. Uh, if you're watching live, we're not done. Britney Spears is going to Congress? What? We're going to talk about that and more here on the live feed. If you missed the live feed, hit that join button. Become a member today. Always catch the replays whenever you want.